In a bank lawsuit, Kim Zalshik and Croy Bierman must pay a six-figure sum. Money, as they say, makes the world go round, and a lack of money brings everything to a halt. Kim Zalshik and Croy Bierman were almost probably in this situation. The former Real Housewives of Atlanta stars have been in financial problems for months, if not years. Every Kim Zalshik headline appears to be accompanied by a new lawsuit. Their financial situation almost definitely pushed them into the throes of their nasty divorce. It was mid-2023 when Kim and Croy discovered they owed the IRS over $1 million. Then there were the issues with their residence. Somehow, things have only gotten worse from there. While Croy would point at Kim's gambling addiction, she'd just fire back with claims of a drug addiction. Whatever the reasons for their troubles, they better start making moves fast. TMZ recently obtained court documents revealing a Georgia court judgment for Simmons Bank against Kim and Croy. The judgment ordered $226,836.22 from the couple, as well as $178.51 in interest, foreclosure fees of $2,071.57, and attorney fees of $1,945.31. In total, the couple has been ordered to pay $231,031.61. The lawsuit was initially filed back in July. Kim and Croy defaulted on a home equity line of credit, meaning the money troubles just keep piling up for the pair. Kim and Croy are lucky if they can get through even two weeks without more debts accruing. For example, Kim fell back on making Capital One payments, owing over $156,000 as a result. Then, as most fans know, the drama surrounding the sale of their home has been a whirlwind. The house was scheduled for a foreclosure auction but the former RHOA stars have asked the courts to halt the auction and listed the home for themselves at $6 million. The two are still staying in the home but with strict instructions to keep apart.